with Grayson, and Grayson has a friend. Will you show him your friend? And what is that? An owl. We brought our owl to share with you because today we're going to be learning about owls. So Grayson, what does an owl sound like? That's right. So when do you see owls? In the night. In the reason the owls are out at night is they are called nocturnal animals. Can you say that word? Nocturnal animals. Nocturnal animals. And that means that they sleep during the daytime and are awake at night. So they are awake when we are sleeping. And when we're awake, they are sleeping. Another fact is they have excellent eyesight because if it's dark out, it's really hard to see. So they've got big eyes to help them see. And they have really good eyes. And they are also called raptors, bird of prey. And this means that they eat meat. Some things that they catch are mice and rats and other small mammals. And they have big claws on their feet down here to help catch things. So those are some facts about owls in our story. I have a poem for you. Get out your hands and ready. There's a wide-eyed owl with a pointed nose and two pointed ears and claws for toes. He lives up in a tree and he, when he looks at you, he flaps his wings and says, I have an owl song for you. Flap your wings and fly around, fly around, fly around. Flap your wings and fly around, just like an owl. Open your eyes big and wide, big and wide, big and wide. Open your eyes big and wide, just like an owl. Land on the ground and hop along, hop along, hop along. Land on the ground and hop along, just like an owl. Turn your head and say, hoo, hoo. Turn your head and say, hoo, 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 just like an owl. In our story today, we'll read about some owls. And for our art project, we will paint some owls. Owl Babies, written by Martin Waddell. Illustrated by Patrick Benson. Once there were three baby owls, Sarah and Percy and Bill. They lived in a hole in the trunk of a tree with their owl mother. The hole had twigs and leaves and owl feathers in it. It was their house. One night they woke up and their owl mother was gone. Where's mommy? asked Sarah. Oh my goodness, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I think she's gone hunting, said Sarah. To get us our food, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. But their owl mother didn't come. The baby owls came out of their house, and they sat on the tree and waited. A big branch for Sarah, a small branch for Percy, and an old piece of ivy for Bill. She'll be back, said Sarah. Back soon, said Percy. I want my mommy, 
said Bill. It was dark in the woods, and they had to be brave, for things moved all around them. She'll bring us mice and things that are nice, said Sarah. I suppose so, said Bill and Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. They sat and they thought, all owls think a lot. I think we should all sit on my branch, said Sarah. And they did, all three together. Suppose she got lost, said Sarah. Or a fox got her, said Percy. I want my mommy, said Bill. And the baby owls closed their owl eyes and wished their owl mother would come. And she came. Soft and silent, she swooped through the trees to Sarah and Percy and Bill. Mommy, they cried, and they flapped, and they danced, and they bounced up and down on their branch. What's all the fuss? Their owl mother asked. You knew I'd come back. The baby owls thought. All owls think a lot. I knew it, said Sarah. And I knew it, said Percy. I love my mommy said Bill. Hi, we're ready to do our art project. We are going to paint owls in our story. Grayson, how many owls were in our story? Three. Three, Sarah, Percy, and Bill. So we're gonna paint three baby owls. What you need is a piece of black paper. We glued on a piece of brown paper for the branch some white paint, and a cotton ball, pom-pom. You can use it like that. Grayson doesn't want to get his fingers dirty, so we're putting it on a clothespin. You can use that. We cut out little yellow beaks, and we have some wiggly eyes for their eyes. You can just cut out black and white paper if you would like another option for the eyes. So we're going to paint our owls with the pom-pom or cotton ball. got our three owls painted on there and we're gonna let it dry before we add our nose and eyes. Our owls are mostly dry so we are going to glue on eyes and beaks. Move them down here and you've got your glue stick and you can glue them on. For the eyes, we cut out black circles and glued on wiggly eyes for them so they'd show up a little better on the white. We had fun learning about owls today. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed our story. And we'll see you again next week. Bye. See you later. Give a hug. Hit the road. See you soon. Out the door. Bye.